So the truth about it is, um, I don't see any breed in particular fizzling out. We've hit, a, we've hit a bump currently and everything is tied to the economy. And for those who are large breed, large breed breeders, you see that the cost of feeding is astronomical. So it's hitting breeders hard. Um, breeders are beginning to reduce the number of dogs in their kennels. And I think I spoke about this the last time we had this interview and I told you that people must learn to manage what they can afford to manage and not just have them because oh, numbers is a great thing. If you can't manage them, if you can't take care of your dogs, you will have to give them up at some point, you know. And it might be painful, but you have to do that, either for the welfare of the dogs or for the fact that you simply can't cope with feeding them. So large breed dogs, we might see the numbers plummet a little, not because people don't like them, because Nigerians like big things, but because we can't afford to feed them, you know, right now. So you see the numbers dwindle, because what's happening now is with the new regime, the new um, state of the economy, you can see the dollar has gone up. You know, the parallel market has met with the bank rate. So naturally things are going to go up. Price of dog food will still go up, it's a fact. Um, and then the prices of dogs is not going up, you know, along with these prices. So what you're having is one aspect going up and this aspect remains constant and might even go down because the demand is not there because once you don't have the economic power to purchase no matter how much you love the dog or puppy you just leave it where it is so the breeders would keep dogs longer and then might be eventually might eventually have to reduce their prices to let them go or um, knowing their quality they might look for markets outside the country or outside the sphere of people that normally buy for them so what they would need to do is have targeted um, driven campaigns such that people who are looking for the, the quality of dogs they have find them it's very important okay so i think that's what will happen but ordinarily you see people go to smaller breeds um more uh, you begin to see more ornamental ornamental dogs so by ornamental dogs i mean like the bullies the pocket bullies um, the french bulldogs you see the pugs so people will begin to move from the big dogs to more companion driven dogs because of cost, you know, but it will be sad if you are doing it because of uh, financial benefits as against the love for the breed. Because if you don't love them, ultimately what has happened to the economics would also happen here because after a while you get tired and you have to give up the breed as well. So what eventually i see happening is people will begin to do more soul searches to see what it is that they really want because there isn't any money to waste anymore and then if you want to breed select breeds that one fit your lifestyle your age the capacity you have so by capacity i mean space availability for breeding for whelping for exercise make room for that and then ultimately feeding because the dogs must eat